So one thing we could do before we actually start binding the joints to the skin of the, the actual, well, binding the model to the joints rather, is clean up our outliner and organize everything. So what I'm gonna do real quick is get rid of these NURB circle shapes uh, or the, uh, the actual displays for those uh, that got created from the last process of creating this clavicle. Uh, so I got rid of those, cleaned that up. You wanna do that with anything that's kind of empty. Be sure not to delete anything that's important, like these feet controls or the knee uh, kind of uh, pole vector um, uh, to point that knee. Make sure you don't accidentally delete stuff like that because some of that is free floating and not already kind of parented inside of a group. Uh, but also I'm gonna kind of show all that tongue joint stuff as well back from whenever we created the tongue. Um, I'm just gonna just double check to make sure that works still. Yeah, it does. It's been a while since I've checked that out. Cool. Uh, so uh, what I want to do is group all this stuff together. I don't, in this group that I'm about to make, I don't want to have any of my model in there. Uh, so anything that gets bound, which is going to be the entire model, with the exception of the eyes, those will not be skinned. You know, those are just kind of parented underneath some stuff, like how we did that, I remember, forever ago. So we're not going to parent, or we're not going to skin any joints to those. Uh, but everything else is going to be scanned, including the tongue model. Uh, oops, let's go back here. Let's say hide. So I just want to make sure, yeah, it's in that group. So what I have is a um, Gene Eric model group for his body and tongue, and then the expressions group, which has the head inside. Um, so here is everything that uh, makes up the model of my character, with the exception of the eyes. So just want to point that out to get that squared up because you'll be, um, you don't want to make sure that it's, it's in this group that we're about to create because it will break your rig. With everything else though, also I want to rename this Aki handle while I'm right here at it. Tongue. That's, a, that's another good thing to do is just uh, go ahead and rename stuff that doesn't have a name. Like, oh, what's that Aki handle? Is it just sitting there? What's that? What is that too? I didn't name it when I created it. So let's go ahead and just name it now. Um, Cool, so we're gonna group all this stuff. So I'm just gonna select uh, everything else that's not part of that uh, initial model group. Again, the eyes are part of this, but that's okay. Uh, those don't get uh, bound to the joints. They just stay parented where they are. We're going to parent all of these to each other. So we're just gonna say Control G, make a group. We're gonna call this the All Character GRP. So now we have two groups, one for our model, one for the rig itself. Uh, and this is what we're gonna be able to do to move this around. Do note though, that some of the IK stuff does break when we move it around. We have to go in and fix that. So I'm going to, before I do that, uh, just create a, another curve circle, scale it up. Uh, scale it up to right about there. And then we're gonna say, good old freeze transformations, delete history. Uh, this is going to be our main control. This will never be animated, but it will be a, uh, it will allow us to position our character in a scene. Um, and this is where we're going to parent the all character groups underneath. So now we have our main control, which we can move around. But note, this eye key handle, which is the tongue eye key handle, <laughs> is really throwing that tongue way, way, way out there. And we really don't want that. Uh, my tongue is already bound. I forgot we did that. But hey... Uh, it, we really don't want this, so we really have to go in and fix that up. So what I want to do is first off undo that movement that I did with the main control, make sure it's back here. And what I need to do is go up to the uh, IK handle for the tongue. Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 I'm so sorry. It's the curve for the tongue. So that, that curve that got created, not the IK handle, sorry I misspoke, but the actual curve on the inside. We want to select that, go over here to our attribute editor. If you don't see your attribute editor on the right side of your screen, up here, this middle button, uh, just hover over it, show hide attribute editor, there you go. So what we're gonna look here is that first column and say inherits transform. So essentially what's happening is uh, in this parent system, um, this curve is kind of in inheriting more transformations uh, for translates or, or rotations or scales, all that great stuff. Um, it's kind of receiving it double over, this is kind of like a double move. So. Uh, we're going to uncheck that, and now when I go to move this model from the all character group, notice how that tongue doesn't just go sliding every which way, it stays in place with where it needs to. 
cool. So again, uh, where that is, make sure to select the tongue curve and go over here to your attribute editor, tongue curve one, and just uncheck under transform attributes that inherit transform. If you built anything else in your rig using that IK spline technique that we use for the tongue, you'll also have to go over here and uh, uncheck inherit transform. I know some of you are doing kind of uh, tails, uh, and uh, hair uh, that you may have rigged up in a similar fashion that we did with the tongue. So just make sure that uh, you go over to the transform attributes uh, for that curve that gets created and uncheck inherit, uh, inherits transform. And that should be it for grouping and kind of organizing everything. Next up is actually binding the skin, uh, binding the model to the, um, uh, the joints and going through that process of painting skin weights.